Welcome to SmashingBlog.com. Here at Smashing Blog, we're in love with cryptocurrency and all of that good stuff. Today, Smashing Blog wants to talk to you about consensus algorithms. I'm going to take a few minutes to run through the primary ones out there today proof of work, proof of stake, and delegated proof of stake. Okay? A consensus al algorithm in the blockchain sense replaces accountants, banks, admin, all the normal players out there in the centralized world today who would normally validate transactions and confirm which ones are true and which ones are false. Okay, in my example I'm going to use six nodes. So let's have one, let's call it have Alice, um, let's have Bob, Let's have Charlie. Let's have Deborah. Um, let's have Frank. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Let's have Eve. And then let's have Frank. Okay, so I'm guessing I'm making the assumption here that you've watched some of my other whiteboard videos where I have run through what the blockchain is and others, so I won't go into that level of detail on this video. But for this example, in this scenario, we'll start with Anis has sent Bob, first a transaction, $20, oops, and then we'll create a and then let's have Bob sending Charlie $10 and Charlie sent Deborah $5. So, and this will help us populate our ledger. So we know A to B, 20, and we know B to C, 10, and we know C to D, five and then because we are in a blockchain decentralized world all all nodes have a copy of the ledger b to c 10 c to d five and we, charlie has one we know what's in there deborah has one we know what's in there and Eve has one and Frank has one okay now to start off with let's talk about proof of work and the proof of work is a consensus algorithm that's currently used by Bitcoin ethereum and there's many others out there okay so Let's say Charlie now has a transaction where Charlie sends Frank $5. In proof of work, all these nodes who want to write this transaction into the blockchain, because when Charlie sends Frank $5, he will, he will broadcast it to the network so c to f five dollars and then all these nodes let's, let's all these nodes will compete apart from let's say charlie and frank because they're part of this a transaction the rest of the nodes will compete to write this transaction into the blockchain and the way that is done as i explained in my last video is they first of all have to validate this a transaction and the way that they do that which is quite a straightforward we know that Alice first transaction sent Bob $20 Bob then sent Charlie $10 Charlie then sent Deborah $5 so Charlie should have $5 left to send over to Frank so we can take that is validated then running a lot of a computational power 
they will all try to find ran uh, they will generate random keys until they find the right key that enables them to write this transaction into the blockchain okay so if Deborah is the one who finds that key Deborah is then able to write that transaction into the block she then broadcasts back to the network to let everyone know this transaction is has been written into the blockchain and here is a special key that allows you or the, or the other nodes to write this transaction into the blockchain the challenge with proof of work the big challenge with proof of work is the electricity used to generate the random keys it has been said that the amount of electricity used by certain blockchains is enough to power a country like Hungary so there is also the challenge of um, hash power in the sense that let's say I mean I'm pretty sure you've heard about things to, spoken about like 51% attacks now let's say Bob Alice Bob Charlie and Deborah decide to join together and become one entity one mining pool okay that will give them more than more than 50% of power over the blockchain which will mean if they wanted to they could become bad actors and possibly approve transactions that shouldn't be approved okay now with proof of stake the difference is let's um, okay let's keep the same a scenario okay with proof of stake the difference is Charlie sends sends five dollars over to Frank okay so with proof of stake there is no generating of random keys okay we don't have miners in proof of stake we have value datas okay and the way that proof of stake works is if Charlie wants to become an a, a value data then Charlie will stake some of his coins okay the more coins in a, a node stakes the higher the likelihood of being randomly chosen to validate the transactions okay once again this does have some challenges because once again you can have a 51% attack but it's slightly harder because in this instance to have a 51% attack you have to have 51% value of the blockchain now if you think a blockchain like Bitcoin to take to actually achieve 51% of the total market cap of Bitcoin will be quite challenging and if you did that I mean yeah okay so delegated proof of stake is a bit different okay in this instance they don't have miners they don't have validators they have witnesses so let's say Charlie wants to become a witness on the on let's say uh, let's think about one that has EOS Charlie wants to become an e a, a witness Charlie has to <coughs> First of all, fill in a certain form, download a certain client, then Charlie has to campaign. Charlie has to, to campaign and win the votes and approval of all the other nodes. So in this instance, Alice, Bob and Frank and even Deborah possibly have to vote for Charlie, for Charlie to become a witness. If Charlie becomes a witness, that means that with each, Charlie is then assigned a transactions which he will then write into the block that each blockchain will have a number of witnesses in some instances these witnesses are paid a salary and being a witness is a is a very competitive role because almost every single node on the blockchain wants to become a witness if, if a witness becomes a bad actor then it's possible for the other nodes to eject that witness and select another okay and that is delegated proof of stake in a nutshell you could say 
I hope you've I've given you a sort of understanding about what the consensus algorithms are. Um, once again, proof of work, random keys, validate a transaction, broadcast a transaction to the other nodes, let them know this transaction has been resolved. Here's a key, write it into the blockchain. Transaction has been validated, validated uh, dated rather. Proof of stake. Once again, all the nodes will stake a part, will stake coins or tokens that enables them to become validators. The higher you stake, the greater the likelihood of you being a validator. Delegated proof of stake, you have to campaign, get votes and you become a witness. Once you become a witness, you have the ability to write transactions into blocks. Smashing blog out. If you like what Smashing Bloke does, give us some likes and subscribe. Smashing Bloke, peace.